And we pull our first super rare. Wow, yes. Terrible cinema again. Damn, why is, why is cinema so bad? And by golly, George, that is a lot of points. Uh, more than I expected. What's up guys and welcome to their epic of versus. In this video, we're going old school versus new school for modern school? Today's school? I, I don't know. But if you guys recall in a previous video, one of the previous videos, I opened up the first 12 or at least half of the Legacy of Destruction. And I was curious, what other Legacy of or maybe Destruction related content I could probably do a versus of? And when I, when I searched Legacy of, I found the Legacy of Darkness. This one originally came out, yes, in 2003. And if you look in the top left there, this is first edition, no less, no less. So we're matching it with apples to apples, I guess. Not really, but you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. But we will talk about some of the cards included in both of these sets. Now, with the Legacy of Darkness, I had to buy a lot of loose packs because if I try to go for a booster box, they're going for like two thousand dollars, and I'm like, yeah, I don't have that kind of money for the business, so I'm just gonna buy loose packs of these, you know, periodically throughout the year and ge gearing up for the Legacy of Destructions. So I was able to get. Not one, not two, but 12. So 12 to 12, an equal match. So first editions versus first editions, Legacy of Destruction versus Legacy of Darkness. Old school versus new school. Let's see who's gonna win in this epic versus. But hold your horses there, guys. Before we get there, today's video is sponsored by our boys at Gem Loader. If, if they like me and you wanna protect your booster boxes, you definitely want something like this to collect cases for the booster boxes. Or if you wanna just protect your cards, the acrylic cases like this. Both links in the very top of the description. Definitely check out, it does help support the show. We get videos like this where we do epic versus an old school versus new school. It's very hard to get those old school packs, but with your support and checking out those affiliate links, it does help out. So definitely check it out guys. And again, thank you again for those who have and back to the main versus. Let's do this. I'm gonna do something a little different in terms of how I normally do my verses, where like it's like pack to pack verses. We're just gonna go open all the packs from Legacy of Destructions and open up the rest of the packs for Legacy of Darkness to see if Darkness can actually keep up with the new school. But for those who watched my previous verses, you guys know the drill. If it breaks that one dollar mark, that is gonna be one point. If it breaks five dollars, that's two points. If it breaks ten dollars, that's three points. If it breaks the twenty dollar mark, that's four points. $50 mark is five points and the coveted six pointer is $100 plus. In terms of Legacy of Destruction, there's plenty of cards that break the $100 mark, but Legacy of Darkness doesn't have any cards that break it, but but they have a lot of cards, like easily two, two pointers here, three pointers here, that might catch up on you really, really, really quick. But let's talk about those high values right now. For Legacy of Destruction, obviously the high value is always gonna be the quarter century secret rare. So keep in mind guys, this is about a month after the release of the, of the packs. So in terms of number one right now, it could always change every single day. Prices will always change. But number one as of right now is the Barudas, the final bringer of the end times, which I believe was still number one um, when it first came out as well. Currently right now at $170.37. Number two, which I think is different. I don't think that was the same one from last time. This one is Light Swarm Dra uh, Dragonling. Uh, $161.53 and number three is the Nightmare Throne, $152.37. Now all these of course is quarter century secret rares. Going into Legacy of Darkness now, now these are all first edition prices. Um, you can always get these unlimited, but uh, you know, obviously you want the first editions for a collector like myself and those watching. Number one right now is Yataka Razu, of course. Secret Rare only, not, 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 the, not the weird variant, but a Secret Rare only at $83.10. Number two is the Injection Fairy Lily, of course, a very, very high value card to get. Also Secret Rare at $68.76. And number three is actually kind of surprising. It's only a Super Rare, but it's the Luster Dragon number two at $34.46. So it kind of tapers off quite a bit, but again, Lots of two pointers here, lots of three pointers here, um, and, but just not enough of the six pointers, but it might not need it, might not need it. We'll, we'll see though, let's see who can, who can win in this versus old school versus new school. As I mentioned before, we're gonna start with Legacy of Destruction all the way through. And yes, 
I don't know. I, I like. I, I'm not sure who I wanted to win because obviously I'm a, I'm a big fan of the old school. I never opened up Legacy of Darkness ever, so it'll be the first time actually um, uh, uh, opening up those binders uh, and kind of inserting these into it. Because uh, yeah, it'll be my first time opening those. I do remember a few cards from it only because of nostalgic reasons, like the Injection Fairy Lily of course, Yada and Luster Sword number two, Luster, Luster Dragon number two. But um, there's gonna be a lot of cards I'm not too familiar with with that with that set. And I guess we'll see how it fares with new school. All right, all right, four to the front. All right, we have we have the um, Haggard Lizard Dose, Ragnarok, I think, uh, Armored Lizard. We have the Kalos, uh, the Circular Sprite. We have the Blink Out. Extinguishing of the Ash Ashton. Ashen. The Talons of Sherlane. The Ancient Gear Advance. The uh, Makazukino Yaba, <laughs> the Moonfang Dragon. And we do get a super rare here Shaman of the Ashen city in the city i should i should really like this artwork i should really call cool artwork hopefully you can see that from the reflection all right number 90 it's only 30 cents so that is no points starting kind of weak for destruction now if you guys have any ideas for a future versus definitely let me know um like I, I like to do like my own research from time to time to see like if it like it, it seems like a pretty fair it might be a little bit unfair with the new school with the old school but for the most part i think it's a pretty fair um versus with these two sets but you can always correct me if i'm wrong in the comments we have this samurai beetle this sajin summoning The Ancient Duel, uh, sorry, Ancient Gear Duel. The Mantis Monk. Uh, Mementalan Twin Dragon. The Tandrum Toddler. And Papa's Footsteps, very adorable card. The Senjin Kaiman. And another super rare here of the Pyrite Knight. Probably not worth much or any points at all. Number 81. Yep, as I figured, only 19 cents. So again, no points for the Legacy of Destruction. I'm actually very excited to open up the Legacy of Darkness because it's I like the way the old school packs look. I like obviously I'll do a compare and contrast once I do open up the old school packs, but it just looks it just brings back the memories as a kid. Even though I never opened up that set, it's still gonna have the same kind of uh, motif in terms of uh, how it looks. All right, let's see if we can get on the board here. We have the gruesome grave uh, squirmer. We have the Lizard Dose again, mix of return. I do know the Tempai Dragons are high. I'm not sure if this one's the one that's high. Probably not, I think it's only the super rare one. I wonder if it's still high. I'll check I'll check that in a moment. Um, but this is the, uh, the Kundra. The, the, the White Lord. Right Lord. The Soma, the Earthbound Spirit. Let me use Earthbound. The Sinful Spoils Struggle. The um, Aja, the Dra Dragoness of Deranged <laughs> Devotion. Yeah, I remember that card. Deranged Devotion. We have the Spoils of Slumber. And it is super rare here of the Mirage Mirror Force. Not the Mirror Force we know back in, uh, I want to say it was uh, Metal Raiders that had Mirror Force. This one is only 23 cents, so not the Mirror Force we're looking for. So still no points for Legacy of Destruction. 
would even get a point because if you guys recall in the previous video when I opened this, I opened up some pretty decent cards from that set. Like I, I, it was one I think was a, a secret rare that was worth like four points. So I don't know if we'll get another secret rare here or a quarter century rare better, but uh, we'll see. We have the Samurai Beetle again. We have the Dino Vatus Do Docus. Ancient Gear Commander. We have the Witch, the Krishna Witch. The Skeletar Soldier. The Sengen Kamen again. Uh, Sagan Pi, Sagan Pi by by dent, <laughs> dragon, dragon, the jungle du du dweller, and a new card to my collection, but it's only super rare. Uh, is ancient gear dark golem? Actually, looks pretty cool too. However, comma it is only thirty two cents. No points. No points. This actually might be a one-sided fight if I if I don't pull anything with the destructions, because of the biggest difference I would say um, that might be lean more towards old school is the fact that I this this came from probably three different booster boxes all mixed into one, and because I had to buy individual packs for it, so that might be why it's uh, kind of weighed more on their side because there's more of a chance of pulling something pretty cool from it, whereas this one all came from one booster box. And usually the ratios are pretty similar to what comes out of it. Like, uh, you know, they, they might come out one or two super rares, maybe one quarter century rare, maybe four super rares, something like that. But um, we'll we'll see. If anything, it, it's an it's a excuse for me to open up both sets in one video. <laughs> we have the Ashen to Endlessly. Another extinguisher. Another range devotion. The uh, central ion uh, gargoyle number two, the sequel. And then the super rare here, turn silence. Another thing I'm curious about too is like how the super rares look in the old school sets because uh, I feel like. Nowadays, like I'm kind of used to how it looks, so I wonder if it still looks as good as the super rares we see now. Because we kind of take it for granted, the, the super rares nowadays. Number 52 is only 17 cents. Alright, let's do this. Still no points for Legacy of Destruction. That's another reason why I wanted to open up this one first, instead of doing back and forth, because uh, like, if it if it's where I'm thinking it's gonna go, like I, I don't want like like a bunch of points here and zero points here. It would not be an interesting versus, but if I just keep the suspense going, maybe, just maybe, you'll stick around. <laughs> but you can always check out the timestamps too. Just saying, just saying. But I do appreciate you guys uh, keeping the, the watch hours going for these videos and supporting the show and checking out the FA link and uh, protecting your booster boxes or booster cards. The Earthbound Spirit. The Moon Fang Dragon. Cool design as well. Ancient Gear Advance. The Spoils of Strugger. Ooh, we do get a Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare here. All right. Decent centering as well. Left to right might be a little bit off, but it is the Gold Pride Eradicator. And that looks cool. I'm always a fan of the ultra rares, the gold font. Very, very, very nostalgic, even though it came out a couple weeks ago. Number 41. <laughs> Where am I going with this? Uh, 41. All right. Uh, the quarter century rare is quite high, but the ultra rare variant is still a point making card at $1.61. So that is one point. <laughs> Is that all you're gonna get destruction? 
The one thing I will say that might be the advantage for this one is uh, for the Legacy of Darkness. Now, even though, yes, it comes from three different booster boxes, the reason why that could be a disadvantage is because it might have been weighted already and they might have the previous owners already pulled out the high value cards that weighted heavier and um, you know got the super rares already out from it. So that's the, the, the other disadvantage of opening up uh, loose packs from earlier sets. People already got the weighted cards. I'm hoping not because uh, two, two of the sellers that I, I got it from, they, they, they promise, <laughs> obviously that if they're gonna be a legitimate business, I would hope they are, are true to their word. They did not weigh it, but it doesn't guarantee that like it was a way to be for it was sold to them if that makes any sense like as a as a reseller of these cards you, you, you at least want to make a profit of it and um they may not have waited themselves but the person that might have bought it from them or how they got it originally um was already previously uh weighted you just don't know you just don't know all right we have another gold pry here but this is the super rare of the eliminator not the Eradicator, but just the Eliminator. And this one is only 20 cents. All right. I'm almost done with the destruction packs. All right. Involuntary. The Samurai Beetle. Looking badass for a bug. <laughs> we have the Maestra. The Archfiend, the Songstress, the uh, Equation Cannon, the Kayamen, the Gladiator number two, and a super rare here of the uh, Sen Senkapai Trans Transcendent Dragon. If I recall, this was a point in the previous episode as well. Well, it wasn't four points, but I think it was worth points. But let's see if it's still worth a point now. Almost a couple of weeks later. Number 40. It does at $2.28. So that is one point. So at least they're, they, they got some points going into, go, going into the set. So like... I guess it, um, for those that are voting for Legacy of Destruction to win, uh, if all these cards the, from the Legacy of, of Darkness was all weighted out or all the good set, all the good packs were already taken, because there's no guarantee, weighted or not, there's no guarantee that it's going to have a super rare or secret rare or whatever the case is. So that might prove as, as an advantage for the Legacy of Destruction, because it is guaranteed to have supers, guaranteed to have. Uh, ultras, etc. Uh, double Dai, the Mantis Monk, the Invitier, the Grave Squisher, the Twin Dragon. And I do love the smell of brand new cards in the morning, even though it's in the middle of the night. Endlessly, the Cooling Embers. Oh damn! <laughs> we pulled a secret rare. So there's two secrets per box, which is kind of good to know. But this one is uh, Century Ion Oxila. And yes, secret rare. Now granted, secret rares are not as high as it used to be compared to like back in the day. That was, that was the highest rarity back in the day, secret rares. But now we have like quarter century rares. We have Starlight rares, we have ghost rares, we have ultimate rares. All right, number 42. There is a quarter century variant of this, but however, comma, the secret rare is still decent at $5.15. So that, my friends, is a two-pointer. The first two-pointers for Legacy of Destruction. So they're, they're pulling some numbers now. They're pulling some numbers. Right now, four to nothing, but we, we haven't even opened any of the Legacy of Darkness packs. So we'll see. We got we got three more packs left for destruction. 
And obviously, we're going to be opening every single Legacy of Darkness pack. Um, even if it breaks four, four points or whatever the, the the end score is for destruction. Because I want to complete my collection for first editions of these. Um, even though technically I'm starting it, but I still want to complete it. If I would have started something, I wouldn't try to complete it. It may take me years, but at least I did it. <laughs> I guess. Subduel. And just for reference, I'm still trying to complete my, my first editions of the LOBs and Metal Raiders, uh, Spell Rulers from the original 2002 cards, uh, packs and sets. All right, we have this one already. And of course, a super rare only of the Battle Guard Echoes. So that might not be worth any points. 82, 18 cents for this one. 18 times the dis disappointment. All right, all right, let's do this. The Tempai Dragon. The Right Lord. Majestic, but, but undead. The Fusion. The Ancient Gear Commander. The Light Sworn Aegis. Agis? Agents. The Jungle Dweller. The Songstress. The Hunting Dance. And a super rare of the Multi Universe. Not Multiverse, Multi Universe. This one is 25 cents, so no points. Alright, final pack for Legacy of Destruction, guys. If you want, I guess, new school or modern day to win, definitely press the like right here for luck. It, kind of, it, might, it might need it, it might need it. But then again, I'm kind of apprehensive like uh, opening the packs uh, for the ones I, that I did. Because uh, as I mentioned, like all the good cards or all the good packs might have been taken out already. Maybe, who knows? That's why it's, uh, it's one of those things where doing a... Uh, YouTube video, Lisa. I, I can make up for the money I spent on it. Because <laughs> they weren't cheap packs. Even even as individual packs, they weren't cheap. The Grand Pileup. The Krishnard Witch. The Hidden Fortress. The Ancient Gear Tinker. The gl uh, Gladiator, the sequel. The Concerto, Concerto, uh, this the Smasher of Sesame, Sesame, <laughs> whatever that word is, endlessly, and we do end up strong, I guess. We do pull a ultra rare of the uh, Ragnar Raikai Stag Sovereigns. I don't know if we pulled that one already. I think we might have pulled it in a one pack pull. That's why it looks familiar. All right, there is a quarter century rare of this as well, but the ultra rare is still decent at $1.88 for the final point for Lexi of Destruction. Ending the tally at five. So the question now remains, can Legacy of Darkness make at least five points from the loose packs that I've gotten? All right, guys, Legacy of Darkness, 12 packs right here. First edition. Two and two, for some reason, I want to say two and three, but 2003 packs. These are like the oldest packs I opened in, in this channel. Um, I never got a chance to get any of the 2002 Legend of Blue Eyes, but if I do have that one, that will of course be the oldest pack I opened in, in, the, in the channel. But as of right now, today's date, this one is the oldest pack to be open. Now, just as a caveat, um, like I spent about almost $300, almost $300, maybe, maybe $270, something like that, um, before taxes for 12 packs. And as I mentioned before, a full booster box first edition was about $2,000, maybe $3,000. So in a way I save money by, by getting it individuals, but it doesn't mean these are guaranteed to have a super rare, a ultra rare, or even a secret rare. I guess without further ado, 
Let's break these first edition packs. Probably worth more sealed than open, but we're gonna crack all of them. Am I crazy? Probably. All right, let's do this. And just the feeling of it, just opening it, it feels so different. Ooh, ooh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, yeah, it's a clean break there. A clean break. Because some of these, uh, some of these packs, even opened, are like worth a lot. I think it's four to the front still. Wow, they feel very different. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> It looks so different. Now, let me let me pull a let me pull a card for you guys so you can see the difference. There we go. That's why I'm so happy I have this channel so I can open up packs like these. But old school versus new school. I can focus on the cards. Yeah, there we go. Look at those. Look at that difference. The border size, the picture of the images are different. The font size, everything is a little different. But it's so cool. The smell of the smell of 2003. What was I doing in 2003? I don't even know. <laughs> but anyway, let, never ramble. Let's get into it. We have the Convulsion of Nature, first edition. Oh yeah. Some of these uh, these cards, like comments, might be worth some points too. Maybe um, I'll double check. But yeah, we have the Woodland Sprite. So if you guys remember, we had a Sprite card in the Legacy of Destruction. Now the that, that, that was the original sprite. Wow, look at, look at the artwork here. The, the dragon's gunfire. We have the, the wing beat of dragon, or the giant, giant dragon. Wow. We have the robo lady. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Serpentine Princess, even though it doesn't look like a princess at all. Look at the look of those effect cards. The Spirit Ryu, who I remember this card back in the day. The Spiritual Energy uh, Settle Machine. And our first card here is only a rare, a rare card. And even even the font on the on the the silver font looks so different. But this is the second coin toss. I feel like this would be a useful card for like uh, Joey Wheeler. All right, let's see. Like, and it's all, like what I like about the original. Um, not well, like and dislike as well. But in the original packs um, back in early days, there are, you're you're only guaranteed a rare or a higher rarity. Like in modern modern Yu-Gi-Oh, if you see a rare card or a super rare, and then there's another card behind it, you, you get like both types of rarities, if that makes any sense. Whereas in original, you only get either rare, super rare, ultra rare, or secret rare in one pack. Number 83. All right, let's line this up. Number LOD 83. Starting strong already, a rare. Two dollars and thirty-one cents. Now, if a rare card is worth two dollars and thirty-one cents, it it shows that the Legacy of the Darkness is probably gonna win. But hope you guys st still stick around to see what cards I do pull from this old school set, first edition, Legend. Sorry, not Legend, Legacy of Darkness. All right, next pack here. <laughs> oh my God. One, two, three, four. And I do like the fact that it's it's like not even curving. It's like fully. It's like like straight, straight pack, straight cards. If that makes any sense. Like there's no like um, signs of like morph. We have the uh, spirit invitation. Probably in my own time, I'll, I'll probably like look at these cards more closely. But but I'm looking at it like right now. The setting is actually really decent. So I'm, I'm very happy with these for my first editions. Um, as a collector of nostalgic cards, whew, this is nice. The Twin-Headed Wolf. Now, being that this is the first time me opening the, the Legacy of Darkness, I don't know what cards are really included in this. But for those that have, and you're, you're feeling nostalgic as well, yeah, you, you let me know in the comments. 
we have the bubble crash and did you have and did you use any of these cards in the meta back in the day let me know as well the robotic knight very very cool uh serpentine princess makes a return the spirit ryu makes a return the spiritual energy settle machine And a fusion card here, the Super Robo Lady. And this card I do remember. We have a, a rare here only of the Su Susa Soldier. Look at that. Rare only. But it might be worth points. 66. It does not. It's only 79 cents. But for some reason, I remember that one. It kind of brings a a memory but a, like a memory i can't quite remember if that makes any sense all right next one i'm trying to save some uh, as much of these packs as i can oh man i ruined that one i ruined that one all right we have the life absorbing machine the uh, illusionary gentleman this card i do remember the Legendary Ocean Field Card. The Robo Yar Yar Yaru. The Heart of Clear Water. <laughs> I like that artwork. The Ominous Fortune Telling. The Mysterious Guard. Look at that artwork. The Stomping Destruction. And we do pull a, another rare here. The Thunder uh, Naya Naya. Kind of a cute waifu potential card. 59. 59. It does break that $1 mark at $1.29. One point. So if you let me know in the comments down below, are you feeling, are you feeling nostalgic? Are you feeling, feeling the hype? Even though we haven't pulled anything too, too significant yet. But so far, the score is 5 to 2. 5 to 2. We still got a lot more packs to go. All right, here we go. Next pack. All right, there we go. Clean open. And it's nice to know, too, that the Forza Front still applies, even back in 2003. The, the Gladius option. I, I like the fact that um, they put an apostrophe S ending on an S. That seems like a, a grammatical error. But um, we kept it in there. The bubble crash. The robotic knight. Spirit Ryu. So we're, we're, we're starting to see some duplicates already. Um, the spiritual energy mix of return. A super robo lady. A new card here. The artwork, oh my god. Troop Soul, Troop, Troop Dragon. And we pulled a duplicate rare. No! A duplicate rare. But at least we know that's worth a point. But I do not want duplicate rare. Because what, what am I going to do with duplicate rare? Like, I guess I could sell it. but Or grade it, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, next one. I love when I do a clean open. All right, we have the Puppet Magic of the Dark Ruler. The Gray Wing. It's kind of a funny artwork for me too, because like they, they make the dragon so far away. Nowadays with modern Yu-Gi-Oh, the dragon's like all up, up in your face, which makes a nice action shot, but I like how the old school packs, they keep it like, like that. The Ready for Interception. I remember that card as well. The Nutrients Z, another card I remember. The Frontier Wise Man. The Mr. Wise Man. The Possessed of Dark Souls. And I also like the fact that the, 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 the names for the cards are pretty easy to pronounce for the most part. Super Rejuvenation. Well, I remember this card. I think it's, uh, I, I saw it being used in the anime. 
the bad reaction to Simba Chi. And god dang it, another duplicate already. The Suka Soldier. Not that, that that's the disadvantage of like getting from three different vendors. You have the potential of like opening up duplicate rares. And it was probably weighted, like, as I mentioned. But since this is my first time opening these packs, it doesn't really matter too much for me. However, comma, I did spend a lot of money on it, so I do want something kind of cool for you guys to showcase. So ho hopefully we don't get that much more dupes in terms of like rarities. All right, we have the double snare. I don't got snares on my headphones, as Eminem once said. We have the soul de 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 demolition. Demolition. The conversion of nature. We have the uh, wood right sprite. W so, wood right. Woodland sprite. The repetition of darkness. This is a. I'm, I'm like remembering that one for some reason as well. The fate plan. The Skull Knight number two. And we do pull a Dragon's Rage. And finally a new rare, Blast with Change, which is actually nostalgic for me as well. I remember using that back in the day. But I remember this card that I did get, it was like, I think it was from a friend, and it was completely destroyed, but I still used it in combat, or in, in, in duel, in combat, like, like a gladiator or something. And it does, in fact, break a dollar mark at one dollar and one cents. Wow. And I finally have a, a better version of that card, first edition. <laughs> so right now it's five to four. We have that that much more packs left. Five five more? Yeah, five more. I'm just taking my time, taking my time. All right, another clean open there. All right, we have the Spirit's Invitation. The Twin Head Wolf. The Gladius Option. The bubble crash. We haven't seen a lot of like different rares. So a lot of uh, duplicates. Super re rejuvenation. The Fushi Notori. So that's a new card to the collection. The bad reaction. The Robo Lady makes a return. And we have a new rare, which is good. The metal reflection, which is terrible centering though. Damn, that's terrible centering. But it is a first edition. Magic reflection. You know, left to right, it's terrible. Top to bottom, it's not bad. But yeah. Even in 2003, there's still terrible center. <laughs> and this one is only 81 cents. So uh, that, that's good to know that I could potentially get a better version of that card. Better centering. So I a lot more careful opening up these, uh, these packs. All right, we have the Secret of the Bandit, a new common card. The Hunter with seven weapons. I remember this card, I don't know why. The Lizard Soldier, maybe because of that, maybe has a funny name, that's why I remember that one. We have just Disappear. <laughs> you don't see that nowadays in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. The Robo Lady makes a return, very common lady. Another, uh, Car with terrible centering. Um, Spirit Ryu. Spiritual energy. And we pull our first super rare. Wow, yes. Terrible center again. Damn, why, why is centering so bad? But we have the Exile Force. Super rare. Number 23. And by golly, George, that is a lot of points. Uh, more than I expected, but $8.91 for the Exile Force. That is uh, two points. I kind of figured there'd be a lot of two-pointers with the Legacy of Darkness. That right there makes, makes it the lead, but doesn't mean we'll stop here. We still got four more left, so maybe, just maybe, 
we'll get a secret rare. I doubt it. I'm getting really good at opening these uh these packs nice and cleanly. All right, we have the legendary ocean. The Robo Yorku, okay, I guess. A new card here uh, to my collection, the Fiend Comedian. The Wolf Axe Wielder. The Possess a Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation. Another new common, Otohimi Hemi. The Bad Reaction. Ooh, this is a nostalgic card for me. It's only a rare though, but it's super nostalgic. Mm, decent centering though. I, I appreciate that. The Bottleless Trap Hole. Yes. That's probably going to be worth some points. Maybe. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. $4.50 for this rare card because it's a nostalgic and actually kind of useful card. I think it's still used today actually in the current meta. So four dollars fifty cents. That is one point. All right, three more. Another successful open. So so far, I only ruined two of my packs. I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do with the empty packs, but maybe I'll just keep it somewhere safe. Who knows? I could probably sell those packs for like five bucks, even even though it's empty. Maybe. Life absorbing machine. I got to recruit some of my losses somehow. The Gladius option. The Illusionary Gentleman. The Legendary Ocean. The Winged uh, Minions. It's a new common there. The Burst Breath. Another new common. The Frontier Wiseman. Possess a Dark Soul and a new rare card, the Array of Revealing Lights. Number 29, only 49 cents for this rare, but it's still at least new to my collection. All right, final two packs. If you guys haven't already done so, definitely check out that affiliate link down below. Helps for the show so that way we get even more old school packs in a future video. In the comments down below, let me know what old school packs you want me to open as well in the future. All right, we have the Bark of the Dark Ruler. The Super Robo Yaru. <laughs> the most basic of names. The Throw Stone Unit. The Spring of Rebirth. Look at that graphic. Look at that graphic. The Hunter with Seven Weapons. The Spirit of the Bandit. The Wolf Axe Wielder. Something Joey will probably use. A Fiend's Comedian. Oops. And a rare only. Terrible Sittering as well. The A Forces. Number 27, only 85 cents for this one. All right, final pack, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video. All right, press the like for luck, guys. Can we pull another super, an ultra, maybe a secret? Just maybe. All right, we have the bubble crash. The robotic knight. The soul demon. Demi de de I can't say that word right. De de demolition. The double snare on my headphones. The frontier wise men. All cars we already seen before. The possessed dark soul. The super rejuvenation. The bad reaction. And we do and on a whimper, but. It's still points worthy, but another duplicate for my for my collection, Blast with Chains. So that's only a pointer right there. So overall, a decent scoring versus the final tally, which we kind of 
almost knew from the beginning, but not really. It was that it was that that chance maybe the structure might win because of getting ra random packs from random vendors always scares the hell out of me, especially as a collector. But uh, we did pull some decent cards, and at least we can add it to our collection, and maybe in the future get some more of these. Um, because they're not getting cheaper. These old school packs are not getting any cheaper whatsoever. But yes, the final score is Legacy of Destruction with 5 points and the Legacy of Darkness with 8 points. Yes, if you guys enjoyed that, definitely press a like and support us for future videos like this. Check out that field link down below as I mentioned because it does help support the show in getting packs like these because uh, Getting old school packs is getting harder, more expensive, and all that stuff that you, you want to mention. But uh, being LB packs, I definitely want to open up those first edition packs for you guys in this channel. At least one time if I could. If I could. Um, but some of those are even more expensive. I, I, I don't even want to look at it right now because it might be ridiculous. Even for one pack. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, some other packs in the future is a uh, fan sent me this a while back It's going towards more Pokemon side of the house, but um, they sent me this a while back and I have yet to open it um, My schedule has just been really packed recently, so I haven't got a chance to open up the Timber Forces But I, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. It, it's, it's on the way Some other sets on the way of course is that Rarity Collection part 2 coming out in a couple of weeks from this release video and uh, I'm excited for that one and potentially a versus with that with Rare Collection 1 versus Rare Collection 2. So definitely get excited, get hyped for that, subscribe if you guys want to see how those Rare Collections stack up against each other. Because even Rare Collection 1, there's still some high value cards in that set as well. And I, I still got two booster boxes I haven't opened up for Rare Collection 1. But nevertheless guys, hope you guys like this video and definitely, definitely support us by liking this video, subscribe for more. And I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This was a legacy of versus old school versus new school. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, by the way, if you like this format of old school versus new school, also let me know in the comments. Love you guys. Peace.